Good morning, Troll. I'm Nicholas K. And today is February 12th, 2024. And I'm Sarah Wilson, and this is your Tix News. This week in Black History, we shine the spotlight on Africans, African Americans, and education and organizations that help us make changes throughout history. One major civil rights organization found on this day in 1909, the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People was established to ensure the political, educational equality of minorities and eliminate race prejudice. Since established, the NAACP has fought injustice in many civil rights cases. One historical case was Brown versus the Board of Education. On May 17, 1954, the Supreme Court ruled that separating children in public schools based on race was unconstitutional. It signaled the end of legalized racial segregation in the schools of the United States, overruling the separate but equal principle set forth in the 1896 Plessy versus Ferguson case. Even though the, this decision outlawed segregation in public education, it did not mean everyone agreed with the integration. In 1957, nine African American students arrived at Central High School in Little Rock to enroll in an all white school. Known as the Little Rock Nine, was met by a hostile mob in the National Guard to block the entrance to the school. It was not until weeks later, with the support of President Eisenhower and U.S. Army, the nine students were allowed to enroll and attend the high school. Even though it was a very rough year filled with verbal and physical attacks, eight of the nine students completed the school year. And the senior of the group, Ernest Green, became the first African American to graduate from Central High School. Did you know? In Memphis, ha too, had its very first. On September 18, 1959, eight African American students were escorted to their classes at the then Memphis State University, later referred to as the Memphis State Eight, began a trailblazing journey by integrating one of the most prominent institutions of higher learning in the region. Wow. But I also see in 1961, right here in Memphis, 13 African Americans first graduate first grade students enrolled in schools that were previously all white. So this was this reminds me of the story of Ruby Bridges in Louisiana. Yeah, but when the Memphis 13 desegregated Memphis City schools, there was no violence like the violence witnessed in other parts of the South. Even as a first grader, Miss Ruby received threats. Now here's a message about that packs. Students, do you have your clear backpacks? If not, Miss Moore has some for sale in room. 310, they're only $10. If your backpack is not cleared, it will not be allowed through the TICS TSA line. Get yours today. in spring sports, make sure you sign up. Here at the well, our spring sports, our spring sports are boys soccer, baseball, softball, and boys and girls track. See Coach Moore for soccer, Coach T. Smith for baseball, Coach Johnson for softball, Coach Dean for boys tracking, Coach Whiting for girls track. Hurry up and sign up because practice has already begun. While we're on sports, let's have a trivia question. Let's. Player born today in 1934 was a five-time NBA MVP for the Boston Celtics. He won 11 NBA championships. Two of the championships were won as a player coach, making him the first African-American to coach an NBA professional basketball team. Who is this legend? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, Time's up! The answer is to be a Russell. Correct! I always love learning. No matter 
where the place is, but there's no other place than school. This means scholars. Attendance matters. Missing the day of school here and there may not seem like much, but absences add up. If a student misses just two days a month, they will miss 20 days a year. That will be 30 hours of Mr. Hill's class you will have missed in 60 hours of reading over the course of the school year. By the time you graduate, you will have missed a whole year of school. Now here's a brief message from DK. Hey, students, please follow the 10-minute rule. You should not be in the hallway the first or last 10 minutes of class. Also, remember to walk to the right and don't forget your locker break time. Thanks, Jacala, for reminding us about the 10 minute rule. Every day, new scholars arrive here at the well. Here's Richard to go over the, to go over the rules and expectations for our new and old scholars. Remember, always wear clear backpacks. Unfortunately, if you have a non-clear backpack, you will have to leave in the auditorium and pick it up every day after school. Second, no hoods, and especially no crocs, even on Fridays. Third, going to and from lunch, you will always have to remain on zero. So, yeah. Must wear uniforms daily, 6th grade, gray shirts, 7th grade, black shirts, 8th grade, red shirts. Always wear them with khaki, black, or navy blue pants. Five, walk to the right at all times. Mr. Hill says there's no excuse for not being in uniform. At Treadwell, we are always striving for five. This means that you, that if you are here every day, you will receive an out-of-uniform pass for Friday. So make sure you are here every day to receive your out-of-uniform pass. But remember, your clothes must be school appropriate. No hose and jeans, no cut-off, crop, or tank tops, no tights, and still no crocs. Also, scholars, during our transition to and from lunch, this transition must be quiet or your grade level is at risk of losing the strive for five incentives. Or any incentives that Mr. Hill feel like feels like he must take from us. So make sure you are on zero going to and from lunch. Our other major incentive here is our Peace Day incentive. To receive this incentive, we must stay fight free. So if you know about a fight, please say something. Unfortunately, a few homerooms in 7th and 8th grade have lost this incentive. We'll keep you updated on Tick's moves. Remember, our counselors are here for you. If you have any problem or conflicts, you can always talk to Ms. Connor and Mrs. Weston. I hope everyone showed them some type of appreciation last week because they are the best. All right, scholars, let's have an awesome day. And make sure you continue to learn a little bit more about Black History this week. Until next time, remember in the words of Ms. McKinney, here at the well, we, we love you, you and there ain't nothing, nothing you can, can do about it. it. See you next week, scholars. Bye. Bye.